Hey, bro, this one didn't make it. Uh, I'm not sure what, what went wrong in the box. It was good. It's not all banged up or anything. Poor thing. I just wanted to show you a video. Ah, friends and family. Welcome to the morning. Welcome to my snake room. Welcome back to the vlog. Going to, whoa, tighten up this microphone a little bit. That would be good. If you're going to Freedom Breeder today, if the shirt didn't give it away, it's Freedom Breeder Friday. Welcome to, oh, I always forget to put that thing out after I put my shirt on in the morning. <clears throat> you guys ready to do this? You guys ready to do this? Uh, snakes are all clean, fed, watered, and it's time to hit the road. I still got my microphone up here. If you guys missed earlier this week, we did a podcast uh, with Port City Pythons right here on this microphone. <laughs> I don't have time to put it away. I'm just going to let it sit there. Microphone, you be good. You don't go anywhere while I'm gone. I Yes, stay here. Woo! Mr. Frank, our fantastic male scrub python, shed out. So I thought I'd show you him. Don't hone in on my lips, Frank. They might be moving, but they're not mice or rats. Eh, yeah, good boy. Frank's a good guy. He... Awesome scrub python. I love having snakes that people that generally tend to be a bit, a bit uh, defensive normally and showing that they're able to become not defensive and just become nice little snakes nice little snakes that everybody can handle isn't that right mr frank isn't that right where are you going bud all right here we go Woohoo! popped out the other side like a g 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 like a oh look at that snake dude look at look at him look at how freaking sweet that snake is dude <sighs> snake life Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. King Kong. King Kong? What about King Kong? I mean Kong. What about King Kong? No, Kong. Oh, 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 what about Kong? That he is at Skull Island. And you can take a mountain, and that's all I know. Man, these guys have been really into their Godzilla King Kong stuff recently. It's cool. I dig it. <laughs> Let's go see what no one knows. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? What about jaguars? That they 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 don't sound like this jaguars. They're jaguars and they're sort of like leopards. Yeah. And they are covered in dots. And their dots are like this kind of shape. <laughs> what about their bite force? I'm not sure, but it could definitely bite off your finger. <laughs> and rip your finger off. And they're mammals. And they're cats, and that's all I know. Well, they're in the cat family. <laughs> Hey mommies. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey mommies. <laughs> you say hi to that camera. <laughs> what do you what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm kind of a rough week family wise. Just uh just not getting be around them too much. You know, we had the we had the San Jose show and I got back from that and I had to do a bunch of work and uh I mean <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm lucky, but it's uh, like yesterday I was all day busy, no real time for for too much family time, and uh, now I gotta jump on the road here. But when I get back, 
I've got a rehearsal and I'm playing a, a show with the band. But after that, I'm going to have, I think, a whole family day. So that'll be, that'll be nice. That'll be sweet. I'm spoiled. I know it. But it doesn't make me miss my family unless when I have to leave. Um, that being said, we're about to have a good time. Let's go. Jimmy's clean today, he shaved his head today, he's clean. You guys see the nice, beautiful, rolling golden hills of California? It's like Jimmy's head, beautiful. Did it say it's golden? Golden, it's golden rolling. rolling, golden and rolling, beautiful. With little patches of trees every now and then, but as beautiful as that drive is, you have to be careful because there was actually a fatality on that road just a few hours before, so I had to go around a different way. So it's something you gotta be mindful of when you drive, just to remind you guys, stay safe when you're driving, pay attention to when you're driving, because I guess that road, I mean, on that road, there's fatal they are fatal, <clears throat> there are fatalities all the time on that road. But yeah, just trying to stay safe. The other unfortunate thing that I'm gonna share with you guys is that uh, I had my first fatality in shipping today. I was shipping a couple snakes to my buddy Ray, and one of them didn't make it, so I'm pretty, bummed about that i'm not going to focus on it too much on this video because then the whole video would be a bummer because it is a bummer and that's why i stress out so much about shipping snakes because i'm worried one's not going to make it and raise the box is fine everything was perfect one of the other snake made it fine looks good the other snake was a bit more of a a little bit more of a stress case i think and i think it was just the sheer stress that it just didn't make it so it sucks it sucks but it's part of jimmy have you ever had to deal with this uh doa doa I think I've had happen once or twice. Once or twice? It uh, it's very frustrating. Yeah. Very frustrating. Luckily, the person I sent it to is my buddy Ray, so like we're gonna you know we're gonna work it out and like as far as that end goes. It's yeah. Not... I tell him uh, contact me right away. Send me a picture, um, just for my records. Not that I'm don't believe him, but just for my records. And then um, yeah, I take care of it. Right. Let him know what what can I do. Um, full refund on everything or replacement. You know whatever. I'm. I try to make them happy as possible, you know. But the the my main concern is always the snake. It's you know, regardless if it's a fifteen dollar snake or fifteen hundred dollar snake, you know, still a little a little life. I don't like losing. I've I've gotten a little comfortable, but but not not super comfortable that I messed up the packing. The packing was good, but uh, <clears throat> I was getting a little more comfortable with shipping snakes as I've shipped a bunch this season now. But to have the first fatality is just kind of like makes you not want to ship them anymore. It makes you just want to go to shows and just sell them hand to hand person there and not have to ship anything at all even though usually they make it like 99 percent of snakes make it would you say as long as they're packed correctly they just they make it right yeah and so, have, you know whether it's the first one or your hundredth one i mean i've never, never had the hundredth but I'm just saying, no matter how many numbers you are it's, it's it's always frustrating it's always sad when you lose one you know unfortunately i'm just tripping out about how much you look like my uncle right now it tripped me out i've really seen the filipino come through you're just profiling me again that's <laughs> what so this room is for ball pythons and racial profiling and this is what we do in this room a little bit, a little bit. so that was a bummer bummer anyway i'm not gonna focus on it and you're wearing shoes today and i'm wearing shoes today let's focus on the fact that i'm wearing shoes today Those for the first nice time shoes. so i got these shoes for a reason i will share with you guys what the reason is it's pretty cool reason before this video. Is it a cool reason? It's, it's a cool, cool reason, yeah. yeah. Very cool reason. In the meantime, Plus. we gotta check out some cool ball pythons. Jimmy, Jimmy seemed pretty excited about something just now. Fire spider, yellow belly, calico, orange dream. Just had their first meal. I should have brought my bug assault gun. There's flies and they're bugging me. Yeah, it's pretty hard here today. <laughs> I 
<laughs> all right, I feel better now. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about, all right? Seriously, how freaking cool is this thing, man? So if you remember in the last video, I told you that Hillary said that I could get one of these things if I did well at the reptile show and cleaned out storage. Well, I did well at the reptile show, I cleaned out storage, and I got myself a one wheel. I'm riding around on it through the grass, through the forest. It's amazing. If you told me that one day I'd be able to snowboard through the grass and the trees, I would have been, well, it sounds awesome and it is awesome. It feels like a dream, really. I'm pretty fortunate that I've been skateboarding and snowboarding for you know, most of my life, so having this thing for less than 24 hours and be able to jump right on it and film and ride around like a crazy maniac, probably not recommended for a first time rider, but I've been doing this a uh, long time. It feels very natural to be rolling through the, uh, well, <laughs> it feels different to be rolling through grass, but it feels pretty natural to be on a board for me. So this is working out pretty well. And uh, I guess there's some divots I should probably watch out for, but man, I literally, it feels like a dream right now. Like I think, I've heard people say in videos that this thing is very intuitive and it feels like it's attached to your brain well they're not lying because it really does feel like this thing is just going where i feel like i want to go it's pretty freaking incredible man wow it is literally like i feel like i'm a five-year-old living a dream right now Itself. Grass has lots of divots, and sometimes this thing has a mind of its own. <sighs> As I'm riding around on this thing, it's like it's super cool, obviously. I can't help but think about that snake. I couldn't help but think about that snake for most of the day. And it's part of the reason I think that I can't fully commit to breeding reptiles as a business. And that I am very fortunate that I found the social media side of things and just everything else that I do that allows me to uh, be part of it without having to breed full time and sell animals full time because I mean, I have selling animals to thank for being able to ride around on this thing and have a good time which is freaking great but I mean what what happened today I know it was a fluke I know that the you know there was I basically did everything that you're supposed to do in it and it's just one of those things that happens kind of like when you have a clutch that not all the animals make it it's just part of uh, part of nature things living things die and there's not often a, a explanation as to why or a clear explanation as to why and uh it's kind of a bummer. It really does make me feel like I don't want to ship any more animals ever and just like meet people at shows. Or just... And the other thing that makes it harder is that Ray and I had been talking back and forth about you know, me driving the animal to him since he's in California or him coming up to me, but it just never worked out for either of us. And he was, he was just like, let's just go ahead and ship, ship them. And uh, I was like, well, I mean, I ship animals all the way across the country, ship one down California on a mild temperature day. And obviously one of them made it, so I don't know, I'm just, I can't stop thinking about it really, so I figure like I should probably talk about it here, because this is where I get my stuff out. Um, yeah, I mean, will I never ship a reptile again? I, I, I probably not, Pro I mean, I probably will. But, luckily, for now, I don't really have any animals available. Pretty much everything sold at the shows, and there's a couple other things that I don't know. It's a fluke, right? Could you, like, how many guys out there ship reptiles? Leave a comment down below. How many guys ship reptiles, snakes, whatever, through FedEx, or just ship reptiles in general? And and how many of you have lost an animal? I'd like to know down in the comments, please, if any of you have lost an animal when shipping, and just kind of how it made you feel, or or what you did, if it was, you know, just a fluke, or if there was, or if you received it, other been on the other end, received an animal that was dead when you got it, like, uh, not so happy side. I'm super conflicted right now, enjoying myself riding around on this board while knowing that that happened today, so, um, 
anyway, I know that it's part of it. You know, I've, Ray told me he knows it's part of it. Everybody I think that does this knows that it's definitely part of it. But man, it doesn't make it suck any less. That's for damn sure. But <laughs> not to leave you guys on a downer, man. Holy crap. But I hope that you're having a great day. Um, and shoot. If you, if you, if you, even if you haven't skateboarded before, I'd highly consider getting one of these things to go ride around because it, it really, even if you're having a bad day, it'll make you feel good. It really will. A constrictor came in and wrapped itself around me. I was a little boy. I was fighting, screaming. My grandpa heard the voice. He came in and he saw that this constrictor was already wrapping itself around me.